Um, I want to talk about potential. So, um, we as women have a tendency to get backlash for being um, drawn into a man um, and in his potential. And as time moves on, a lot of times um, the, the potential doesn't actually become um, fulfilled. Um, and then a lot of times uh, we as women will look back and say, yeah, you know, I did kind of get caught up in a man and his potential because I thought he was going to be this because of what he said, or he said he was going to do this, or he said he wanted to aspire to become this, or he said he had goals and his goals um, he laid out in front of me sounded very good. And so um, I got excited about it. I was uh, very... Um, intrigued by it because he had um some true thought in what he wanted to be and um and so a lot of times it's crucial as a woman that when you are involved with a man that has a, a lot already laid out in his potential as to what he wants to do and, and be a lot of times we as women uh tend to you know get a little disappointed if he does not aspire or does not meet his goals or does not become what he says he, he wants to become. And so, of course, um, when we look back, we're thinking that, oh, my God, you know, I was drawn into a man's potential and maybe that wasn't a good thing. Um, or I was drawn into a man's promises and maybe that wasn't such a good thing. But I want to tell you something that I think we're not thinking about. When you come into the presence of a man as a woman, um, it's vitally important we understand that we gift life. We carry children. We gift life, okay? So what does that mean? That means something that is very powerful in our feminine energy and in our feminine presence, okay? So we as women gift life. And I'm saying this because it's very important we understand and understand that we gift life. So if a man in your presence that you're attracted to or drawn to or, or, or connected with, you find out that this man has dreams, has desires, has a drive to become the best version of himself. And in his vision that he sees and projects, he's going to tell you what he sees, what he projects, what his goals are. As a woman, we have to realize our power can assist him in helping that to come to fruition. Because in our feminine power, we have the ability to help him to birth that. So when a man shares with you his vision, his potential, his goals, those things are give it, gifted to you as a woman not to become the person to do those things for him, but that is a gift to you to say, listen, I entrust my vision and my potential with you because I see in you that you can help me bring this to life. Is that making sense to everybody? Women, we have, a, we have the ability to bring life to a man. We also have the ability to bring death to him as well. So when a man comes to you and says, here are my goals. Here's the strategies I want to put forth. Here's the things that I want to do. And you say, okay, I can see that as well, and I can help you to do those things, then wonderful. But if you're sitting before this man that's giving you all of the things he's wanting to do, and you really cannot see it in your own sight, please say something to him. I, I, I don't get it all, or I can't see it, or please help me to see it because I'm not on the same page with you. I'm not sure of how you're going to get there. I mean, what does this mean to me? Uh, why do you entrust your vision and your um, um, strategy and your, your, your desires? Why do you entrust that with me? Get it on the table now because when a man conveys to you and tells you, listen, this is what I want to become as a man, and he entrusts that vision and that desire to you, you, on the other hand, he entrusts to bring it to life. 
Just like when a man gives you sperm, you give him a baby. It's the same thing. He's giving you his vision. Now he's, now you're going to help him to bring it to life. If you're the woman that he's so entrusted to do that with. But you also have to understand that when a man gives you his vision, his desires, that doesn't mean that you take over the vision and you try to create it. No, you become parallel with him. But what does that mean? That means that you don't become intrusive. You don't become someone that's doing too much. You allow him to still be driven, but you also encourage. One of the things that I'm learning through my coaching practice is that men love encouragement as much as or more than sex. This is the truth. And it's something because a lot of times we don't want to talk about the truth. The truth is men love encouragement. They love a woman to see their vision. They love a woman to be encouraging them for what they need and what they want. So if you have the vision from the man that's gifting it to you, know that you are the woman he chose to give it to. Now you have the ability as the woman, you have the ability to bring his potential to fruition. But first you have to look at yourself and say, can I do this? And, and I'm, I'm honored that he chose me, but as a woman, can I do this? And am I willing to, and do I see the vision and do I, do I see the vision? Number one, and can I fall in love with the vision? Can I be a part of the vision or not? Because that's something that's also important. See, when a man and in, in, when a man and you connect and you decide to be with that man, it's not just about physical. It's not just about sexual. It's not just about what he's doing for you and how many gifts he's buying you and how many times you go on trips and all of that. Those are nice things. But, but the truth of the matter is, what really matters is what are you birthing in the relationship for him and you to grow together as one? So I wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of times we're missing it and we're oftentimes thinking that if we fall for a man's potential, that we're falling um, in love with something that's not real. That's not true. We need to stop thinking that a man's potential is not real. A man's potential is presented to you and it is shown to you at that point. So if you see potential in a man, you can help bring that birth to life. Because you have the capability. A man is not going to share with you his vision. He's not going to share with you his desires. He's not going to share with you his goals if he doesn't see in you a woman that he can trust. Okay? So I'm just giving you some real truth right here. He is not going to share those things with you if he doesn't see trust, uh, trust between you and him. He's not going to do that. So what is important? is that you sit back and you understand and understand a man shares certain things with a woman he can trust and a man shares certain things with a woman that he knows can help him to become the better man, okay? This is why we're losing sight in relationships because we're spending a lot of time wondering and concerned about all this other stuff that doesn't really mean a hill of beans. Women often think that men only want sex. Sex is great and everything. Trust me, men do love sex, but what he loves as much as or more so a lot of times is a woman to encourage him. I've had more men cry to me, more men ex expressing how appreciative they are for me to be in their life because they sat back and said, because of you, I was able to sit outside and think about some things that I wouldn't have thought about had I not shared my vision and my mission with you. And you didn't take it to destroy me. You took it and you said, let's, let's create some ways to encourage you. How can we do better? What do you need? How do we fix this? How do we make this happen? That's our power as women. Our power as women is our feminine energy, our feminine presence can bring a man into his gratefulness. I'm telling you, not only is he grateful, but he's, he's also great in himself because of you.